Creo. So, I have something to tell you guys. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm moving back to the US. April Fools. Okay, I'm just kidding about that. But what I'm gonna do instead is cosplay as someone living in the US. A little birdie told me that there are some sales going on. So Sephora, Ulta, Nordstrom, and Macy's are all having like 15 to 20% off sales coming up. I was like, wow, that sounds lovely. I wish we had those kinds of sales down here. Uh, we don't. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to just pretend like I'm living over there, shop on Nordstrom, Macy's pretend like I'm shopping for myself and maybe this will be good for you guys to see what's available. Maybe this will give you ideas as to what you might want to try. I'm kind of focusing on items that are less than a hundred dollars, mainly going to be looking at small sizes, 10 mil roller balls and sprays, stuff like that. Cause you know, if this was me, I wouldn't be going ham on big sizes. I'm a budget girly. I have to say, I don't do this as much anymore, but I used to do this a lot where I would put a bunch of stuff in my cart and just like pretend to shop and then not actually buy anything. Today, I'm going to be doing it with you guys and for your entertainment. Okay, so first I'm starting on Nordstrom's website. So I am just going straight to sale fragrance. So I'm actually sorting from low to high because that's how I shop, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, we start cheap. Let's just go through these. Let's just have a look. Um, a lot of this stuff I probably have never seen before, sadly. Okay, jump. we've got some Jo Malone here. I do like wood sage and sea salt, but probably not enough to buy. I don't know, let's see, what size is this? 0.3 ounces, what is that, 10 mils? That's, um, that would be like 30 Australian dollars for a 10 mil. You know what, I like the fragrance, but it doesn't last very long in my experience. I have tested it, it doesn't last very long. I do like it, but I probably wouldn't buy it if it was me shopping. Here's something I'm interested in actually. I've never tried a MAC fragrance. I don't think we have these down here in Australia. So if I'm pretending like I'm over there, I would definitely be 0.2 ounces. That's not even 10 mils. What? 0.2 ounces, what is that? That's six mils. Six mils for $22. Mac, y'all are on something. I do really wanna smell this one though. So in here you've got watery notes, you've got lemon, a mouthy lemon, fancy lemon. Uh, you got some florals, orris root, cedar. Yeah, this one, I really want would want to try this, so uh, I would, I'm adding this to my bag for sure. Okay, we've got some Skylar here. I have like one Skylar sample, it's Coconut Cove. Not my favorite, Boardwalk Delight. Many of you guys have actually suggested that I try this one. Does it actually show the notes on here? So it looks like you've got some coconut milk, you've got cotton candy, vanilla, amber. Uh, yeah, I definitely would wanna try this. Let's see, they're 10 mil or 0.3 ounces is $25. It's a lot, but I'll add it to the bag, okay? It's being added to the bag. Lemon, grapefruit, sage, magnolia, tiara petals, pink salt, cedar. This sounds very fresh and aromatic. Um, gosh, for that price, probably would not pay that for a 10 mil. Yeah, notes aren't intriguing enough for me to try. If you guys have smelled them, then feel free to let me know and I'll add it to my fake bag. Michael Kors Wonderlust, what's this one? It looks familiar. Okay, let's look at the notes here. Bergamot, Jasmine, Sri Lankan, Sandalwood. Hmm. Well, I love a good Jasmine. Ooh, Almond. So I'm looking at the full spread of notes here. We've got Almond in there, Cashmere Wood, Benzoin. So this seems like a very cozy fragrance. Okay, if I was living in the US, obviously I wouldn't be going into, into you know, the cooler weather like I am here but I'm keen to try this. A 10 mil is 25. Sure, I'll bite. I'm gonna add this one. I have a feeling I'm gonna be in trouble. Okay, lots of Skylar. Honeysuckle Dream? You know what? I feel like I need some more honeysuckle in my life. What's this one? Sparkling Cassis, pear leaves, honeysuckle. It sounds very green. Very green and orange flower water. Cashmere wood, sandalwood, sheer amber. Who? I don't know. I mean, the green notes sound interesting. Maybe a little too risky to blind buy. Probably wouldn't pick this one up. Clinique Happy. I don't like Clinique Happy. Lime Sands. See, now lime is a note I'm more interested in. You've got orange flower in there. Okay, one of you guys left a comment asking about fresh summer scents that aren't lemon. <laughs> 
And I would actually be very curious to see if this is one of them. So I'm gonna add this. This seems so silly. It's like, am I being too liberal with the add to bag button? All right, we've got some here. Let's let's do this. Let's sort, can we sort just by fragrance? Okay, here we go. We've got too many other things in there. Oh, we're getting into Versace, small sizes of Versace. We've got Bright Crystal. You know what? I don't love Bright Crystal. I haven't smelled the Absolute. What are the notes in this one actually? Yuzu Pomegranate Raspberry. Lotus Magnolia Peony. Okay, I don't know. Uh, peony, ooh. Okay, no, I wouldn't blind buy this one. Yellow Diamond, have I smelled Yellow Diamond? Okay, let me remind myself of the notes. How much is, okay, so we've got another 10 mil roller ball, or is that a spray? Looks like a roller ball. Pear Sorbet, Lemon, Orange Blossom. Okay, you know what? I feel like either I've never smelled Yellow Diamond or it's been a really long time. I would add, you know what? Free shipping to 0852. I don't even know what that is. I don't know where that is. I'm gonna add it to bag, why not? I think I might wanna try this one just based on the notes. I mean, it's got orange blossom in there. It's got lemon, pear sorbet. I mean, that sounds like one, I always say this about cheaper pear scents. I feel like pear just always smells good in fragrance. I don't know why, in my experience at least, maybe I've just been spoiled. Dylan turquoise, I do like Dylan turquoise actually. I already have, I have a five mil decant so I wouldn't buy it. I do like Dylan turquoise though. It's a very beautiful white floral. Yeah, see Clinique, I'm staring away from Clinique. Any anything with happy in it, I'm I'm steering clear. Good girl. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't get the the original good girl. Jimmy Choo, eh, not not so much. Okay. Tory Birch. I don't think we have Tory Birch here. I'm just gonna have a look through some of these. We've got Electric Sky. Let's see this one. Palo Santo Lavender Cactus Flower. Blue Sage Violet Cactus Flower. La oh my god. Wait, this sounds divine. <gasps> oh, okay. Definitely would get a 10 mil of this. Those notes sound beautiful. I would definitely get a 10 mil of that. Let's see the sublime rose. I feel like I have so much rose. I wouldn't actually need to get any more rose scents. Black currant, dreamwood, and rose. Let's see, rose water. So maybe more of a, like an aquatic fresh Rose, you've got patchouli in there as well with black currant. I love black currant in fragrance. It can, um, a lot of times black currant smells like, a, it's like a very light, bright sweetness, almost like candy. Pop rocks, I always think black currant smells like pop rocks in fragrance. Um, okay, wouldn't add that one. I kind of like the sound of the electric sky more. Divine moon, okay. These names are very eclectic. Lady of the night. What is that? Lady of the Night? Bergamot rhubarb, Lady of the Night honey, almond milk, Dutchman's pipe cactus. Species of cactus, the native range from Mexico to Nicaragua. It blooms nocturnally and its flowers wilt before dawn. Okay, I actually didn't know about Lady of the Night. I like all the other notes. It looks like a white floral. It's got rhubarb in there. Okay, I would definitely wanna try this one. Adding that. Listen, I'm just, I've got Monopoly money, okay? This is Monopoly money <laughs> that we're playing with here. Ooh, Cosmic Wood. Okay, these low. Load. Sounds like we're having some stormy weather outside, so my internet is not great. Let's see, cosmic wood, jasmine, vetiver, cardamom, ambrette. Oh boy, you had me at ambrette. Okay, you've got jasmine, sage, ambrette. Uh, absolutely. You, anything with ambrette, it's in the bag. It's in the bag, literally, it's going into my bag. It keeps changing to this 0852 zip code. Philosophy, I've smelled a lot of philosophy, philosophy? philosophy fragrances. I haven't been like blown away by them actually. I don't know. I probably would skip on those. Libre, uh, no. Like opium, no. I do love Prada candy. I think I have a decant, but if I didn't, I would definitely grab a 10 mil of Prada candy. I do like it. I'm one of those weird freaks that likes Prada candy. I'm sorry. My way, love my way. I'd be more keen to try some of the My Way flankers. I don't know which ones I've tried. I know there's a brand new one. The, um, it's like in the all pink bottle. That one I would really want to try, assuming it's here. Black Opium over Red. I don't really care enough about Black Opium to grab that one. Alien Goddess. Now, if they had the Intense, you'd have me. Okay. On a date, I have to tell you guys something about this scent, okay? I am sorry, Maison Margiela, I'm so sorry, but when I first smelled on a date, this actually inspired a video idea that I had and 
I kind of scrapped it because I didn't really build up enough scents to make this video, but it was like scents that I hate. And I don't use that word lightly, which is probably why I didn't get a full list. But I shit you not, when I first smelled on a date, it smelled like cat pee. It was one of those that I just smelled cat pee. In hindsight, it probably was the Divana. Yeah, it just... To my nose, it comes across like very ammonia and cat, you like urinary. Yeah, on a date, unfortunately, it, if I was on a date smelling like that, I would be mortified. C Passione. I love C Passione. Only one left. Oh, I'm totally gonna get this one. <laughs> Adding to bag. Okay, hopefully this is in USD. Yeah, okay. I'm just double checking that it is in USD. Estee Lauder Pleasures? What is this one? Oh, it's from the 90s. Okay, I don't know if I've actually smelled this one. We've got greenness, violet. Uh, we've got some rose in there, some jasmine. Oh, peony. Ugh, yeah, no. Too much of a risk. No, not even uh, not even a 15 mil. What are these to me? Now, these look masculine, but that is not awaken. These look interesting. Interesting. What is this? Coriander, grapefruit, sage, fir, cypress, olivinum. This looks masculine. I mean, it sounds, it sounds all right, but not for me. I've never seen this brand before. See, this is probably going to happen a lot. I'm probably going to see these brands and go, I've never seen this in my life. <laughs> Clinique My Happy Fragrance Set. No thanks. Devotion. I do like Devotion. Enough to buy a 10 mil for 30 bucks? No. Uh, no, I don't like it that much. Daisy Oh So Fresh. I feel like I've smelled this, but I can't remember. What are the, what are the notes again in this one? We've got some fruit. Raspberry, grapefruit, pear, violet, rose, apple blossom. Ooh, oh no, plum. You know what? I'm not worried about plum in designer scents. I'm gonna add this one. Flower Bomb. Yeah, I don't mind Flower Bomb. Probably wouldn't buy a full size, even a 10 mil. Burberry Goddess. Okay, this is an interesting one. Yeah, I, I might buy a 10 mil of this. Ugh, my gosh, 10 mils for 33 bucks. I do like Burberry Goddess. Okay, I probably would pick this one up. I'm gonna add this. This is Monopoly money, guys. Um, Gorgeous Gardenia. Yeah, so in Gorgeous Gardenia, I've got Pear Blossom. You've got berries, mandarin, gardenia, jasmine, frangipani, brown sugar, and patchouli in the base. Yeah, it's, I remember smelling this at Meyer. It's delightful. I would definitely get a 10 mil of this one. Did I already add it to my bag? I don't think so. Gucci Bloom, eh. Chloe, eh. Rose Naturel. I have actually haven't smelled this one. What's this one? Chloe Rose Naturel Intense. Oh, I see a lime, neroli, bergamot, rose essence, oak wood essence, cedar, sandalwood, eh. Gucci Bloom Eau de Parfum Intense. Huh, not smell that one either. Let's see. Pear, ginger essence, mandarin, uh, jasmine absolute, orange blossom absolute, lady of the night. <gasps> Wait, it's got coconut, but it's got crystal moss. What's crystal moss? Um, You know what? I think I would get this one. I'm loving the sound of these notes. Let's, let's throw a 10 mil in here. Let's add it to the bag. But I've never seen this bottle in Australia. I've never seen it. Aqua de Gio, of course. All right, we're nearing the $50 mark. And I would assume that once we hit, once we hit a certain point, it's just gonna go like straight up from there. Okay, we've got Dior. Uh, listen, I, I feel like I've never really gravitated towards any of the Miss Dior's. I'm gonna skip those. That looks like something masculine. Lanterdy Rouge. I do like Lanterdy Rouge. I think I like the Ultime more, but I really like all of the Lanterdies. Let's see this one. Yep, yeah, you got your Blood Orange. Yeah, you know what? I think I would get the Ultime and not just the regular Lanterdy Rouge. If that one pops up, I would definitely nab it. Tom Ford, Solio Blanc. Oh, I love the scent. I love this fragrance. Okay, we're really getting up there in price, but I do really like this one. You've got orange. You've got Lang Lang, Pistachio, Coco de Mer Accord. Actually, what is that? It's a rare species of palm tree native to Africa. Well, there you go. It's a palm tree. Yes, I do love this. I probably would get a little travel size. Is it normally an EDT? I actually don't remember. Black Orchid, and eh, not a favorite of mine. Ombre leather. Oh, I'm a sucker for ombre leather. Oh my God, I love this scent. I absolutely love this scent. I have not smelled the Parfum version. This is just the regular ombre leather, black leather, violet flower, jasmine. I love this. This is such a beautiful unisex fragrance. Uh, choose size, ounce. <laughs> How much is in here, fam? I mean, that looks like a 10 mil. Yeah, 0.3 ounces, okay. Oh, I would have to get this one. I 
yeah, I would have to get this one. I love ombre leather. One of my favorites from Tom Ford, definitely. Um, we got hair mists. <sighs> Just spray the fragrance in your hair, guys. You don't have to get a hair mist. English pear and freesia hair, yeah, see hair mist? I'm skipping those. Skipping these body sprays. We've got a roller. So I, the only J'adore that I like is the new one, the Lore, J'adore Lore. Love that one. If that one pops up, I would definitely grab it. Oh, okay. Okay, these look fun. Uh, what are the notes, guys? Cherry blossom, Moroccan iris, pink cotton candy. Vanilla. Okay, I think I would get this. I want to look at a full spread of notes here. Mac candy, yum, yum. Guava. Yep, yeah, so guava, cherry blossom, iris, cotton candy, vanilla, say less. Say less. I would absolutely throw this one in there. Hell yeah, give it to me. How big is this? Is that the full size? 1.7 ounce, okay. All right, fair enough, throw that one in there. That seems like a better deal. At least you get like somewhat of a full size for that. Creme de nude, creme de nude, what's this one? Velvet musk, neroli, soft butter suede, Madagascar vanilla bean. I gotta cut through all this like silliness with these descriptions. I just wanna know what the notes are, fam. Neroli, caramel, suede, ambrette, vanilla. It's ogre, get that in my bag. That sounds divine. Ambrette and leather. I don't know if there's a combination of smell before. Maybe, but may it's, nothing's coming to mind. Derek Lamb. I have seen these, um, like their perfume sticks, like the solid perfume on Amazon down here. Cause I don't think I've seen them in any other form, just the solid perfume. Let's see, Tiger Lily Pimento Berry Essence. Whoa, $70 for 10 mils. You are insane. I'm sorry, but there's no smell that can justify that. That's crazy. You want more than Tom Ford? That's insane. It looks like we're getting into bigger sizes. Again, philosophy. I haven't really been a huge fan of a lot of their scents. Have I, I think I may have smelled this one. I can't remember. Let's refresh my memory. Pure, crisp, clean fragrance. Water, water lily, leafy greens, and frosted musk. Yeah, I would probably try and get a smaller size of this one just because I'm not sure about it. I mean, it sounds nice. Just because I haven't been like super impressed with a lot of their scents, I probably wouldn't blind buy that. Lancome Idol, Mr. Zuri loves this scent, but I I do not, so I'm not going to get it. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, that's the men's one. Idol Now EDP. Okay, so it looks like we've got a little chart here. A fresh floral idol for every occasion. So we've got classic aura nectar and now. Rose concentrate, white, white orchid and vanilla. Whoa, what's this one? Rose, bourbon, vanilla and caramel popcorn. Uh, I want this nectar one. <laughs> Where's this nectar? I want that one. No, I wouldn't get this, I don't think. If you guys like it, you think I would like it, let me know, but just based on the notes, eh, I'm not sold. Sauvage, I... Don't know if I love the EDT. I prefer the Parfum of Sauvage, I think. If I were to get something for Mr. Zuri, that is. Perfumed body powder, no. Donna Karen, I have not smelled any of DKNY's fragrances. Cashmere Mist EDT, let's see. Moroccan Jasmine Lily of the Valley Sandalwood, is that? I mean, it doesn't, doesn't sound very uh, interesting. No, I'm gonna skip that. Tobacco Vanille, eh, you guys know how I feel about Tobacco Vanille. If you watched my Maison El Ombra dupe video, I go more into depth. Oh, here we go, we got more. Oh, Neroli Portofino, love Neroli Portofino. I'm a huge fan, yes. Neroli, bergamot, and lemon. It's also, this one's also got ambrette in it, you guys. The citrus in Neroli Portofino is like so soft and like buttery on the nose. I'm in love with this fragrance. Yes, I would buy this. It is very expensive for a travel size, but you know what? It's really good. It is really good. I love this. Oh, okay. There's a discovery set here for the Tory Burch. I probably then would throw out the other one that I bought and just pick up the discovery set. Let's just add that one. Yeah, I think I would nab that. Origins. What's this one we got here? Let's see. We got fragrant fire of spicy ginger balanced by refreshing zeal of bergamot, lemon, and lime. Um, okay. So it sounds like a very fresh and spicy scent very ginger uh not one that i'm willing to blind by that big of a size oh we got jimmy choo edp another philosophy light blue eh. i feel like the original light blue is like not that great there's so many great dupes of light blue or even ones that are like light blue-esque 
that I feel like you can get for way cheaper and last just as long. Um, I would never buy the original for me. Uh, Cartier. Okay, here we go. I don't know if I've, have I smelled any Cartier fragrances? No, I don't think I have. I've smelled some Tiffany. I smelled some Tiffany ones. Those are great. Let's see, EDT, Gardenia, Musk, um, Lily. I don't know. This is very expensive for three dinky sizes. I'm gonna pass on that. Hair mist, skipping those. Ooh, Jimmy Choo, I want you. I do like this one. I want you forever. I do really like this scent. I probably wouldn't have a small size. What is this? 1.3, 38 mils. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I think I would grab this one. I really do like I Want You Forever. I need to get myself a small like decant of it or something. I do really like it. This one, you've got rose, pink peppercorn actually, almond, black cherry, jasmine. You've got moss in the base, vanilla, tonka bean. Yeah, this one is very beautiful. I do enjoy this fragrance. It's been a long time since I've smelled it, but I would feel confident getting a full size. That's all right. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got some replica sets. You know what? I need to do a dedicated video on replica. I need to get like a discovery set and do a full dedicated video on them. Would I get these? I probably wouldn't get these larger sprays. I would need to get a discovery set first. I will say that the ones I have smelled haven't blown me away, actually. Uh, I hate saying that. Okay, because I know uh, people really love them. Cartier Carrot. See, again, another one that I've never seen here. Hyacinth, iris, violet, langlang, honeysuckle, daffodil, tulip. What are the full notes in this one? Okay, lots of florals in here. Honeysuckle, mimosa, like the floral mimosa, narcissus. I don't know. This seems like maybe a bit too much of a dated scent story for me to buy such a large size of a blind buy. This is probably not one I would blind buy based on the notes. I'd need to smell this one first. Versace Eros. Love that one for men, by the way. Let's see, I'm just gonna scroll down here because we're getting we're getting now higher up into price. Rose pick is pretty good. I probably wouldn't buy full size. There are definitely Tom Fords I like more, and there are rose fragrances I like more than rose prick. Um, yeah, see, I wouldn't get any of these. Yeah, fabulous. No. Uh Bonbon. I think I've smelled this. It must have been a long time though. Let me remind myself. Mandarin orange blossom caramel. I mean, based on those notes, it sounds like I would like it. I wish they had a small size actually, but based on the notes, I feel like I would really like this one. It seems very sweet. You know what? I'll add to bag. I'll add it to the bag. I feel like I have seen a lot about this. I feel like a lot of people like this one. Not to say that that means I will like it, but maybe the chances are better. Let me look at the full spread of notes. I actually, I actually rated this one as a like, not a love. Oh, it's got peach. So this one's got peach, caramel, orange blossom. You've got some nice woods in there. Okay, you know what? I would probably get this. Yeah, I'd get it, I think. I wish I could get a smaller size. Oh, it's in my bag. Right, okay. I think I may have added it to my bag twice. We've got some men's in here. We are getting closer to $100. Yeah, Clinique. I'm just skipping Clinique. Sauvage Eau de Parfum. I like the Eau de Parfum of Sauvage. Uh, Missed Your Blooming Bouquet. Ugh, which one? Which when did this one come out? I feel like, did this one come out recently? Rose peony, nope, it's got peony. No thanks. <laughs> not to say I wouldn't like it, but not, wouldn't blind by that. Okay, we're getting more into full sizes. I do like La Via Bell. Not enough to buy a full size. Nectarine Blossom and Honey. English Pear and Sweet Pea. Again, I think I wouldn't stick to smaller sizes of these ones. Orange Blossom. Oris Wood. Okay, we're getting through lots of Jo Malone. Bobby Brown has a fragrance? What? Whoa, that's very expensive for that small of a size. Whoa. Sand Jasmine, Sea Spray, and Mandarin? What? Wait, I'm very curious about this. Hold on. Beach by Bobby Brown. Whoa, wait. It's from 2009. Jasmine, Seawater, Sand, Mandarin, Orange. Huh. Okay, I wouldn't buy a big size, but I am very interested in this fragrance. I wish I could get a small size. If they had a travel size, maybe I would nab that. Wouldn't get this size blind buy, but the notes sound really intriguing. I'm very interested in this. I'm gonna have to see if I can get myself a decant. Yeah, skipping past replica full size. Libre EDT. I actually do like the EDT. Jeez, one ounce is still 70 bucks. Honeysuckle and Divana. Yeah, I mean, I think we're we're getting closer to $100 doll hairs here. Okay, I'll, I'll give you guys a spoiler. I do really like when the rain stops. 
I love this scent actually. You know what? Goodness, one ounce. I do really like this one, you guys. I think it really well replicates. It smells like wet asphalt to me. Again, it's kind of interesting. Would I wear a scent like this? I don't know. It might be one of those that is just very uplifting and makes me happy. It's something I would like to smell and I enjoy smelling, but wearing it, that's a different story. Yeah, you've got lots of different notes in here, but it really to me does smell like freshly rained, like asphalt. Maybe there's little bits and patches of green in like a suburban street or something, but that it's definitely, it definitely reminds me of that. I very much like the scent. Probably would go for a smaller size though, not a large size. Even the one ounce, I think I would just try and get like a 10 mil. We have some Mont Blanc. Oh, Toy 2, Bubble Gum. I love this fragrance, you guys. I feel like I've spoken about this one a lot recently. This one's so fun and kitschy. It's not for everyone, but I really like it. You've got a bubble gum accord in there. It's really fun. It's got rose, the rose is quite prominent, and it's even got cinnamon, it dries down very cinnamon ginger. It's a very transformative scent. I feel like I've raved about this one a lot, but I do enjoy that, but I already have a full size, so I wouldn't buy it again. Laura Mercier Vanille? Wait, what the heck is this? See, again, we don't have these in Australia. What the actual almond coconut, ombre vanille, what the hell? 50 mils for $80. <gasps> My heart. Okay, let me look at the notes here. Um, Am I stupid? I don't see the notes. Ombre Vernie has coconut, but you know what? It's got, it's also got sandalwood. It's got almond, it's got brown sugar. It sounds like a warm coconut. Um, This sounds really nice. I have, there. I don't think we have these down here. I would be very interested in a sample size or a decant of these Laura Mercier ones. Let me also look at vanille, just the regular vanille. Powdery vanilla. Okay, so in this one, in the vanille, you've got vanilla and vanilla orchid, daylily, musk. You've got lots of vanilla in here. This one sounds decent. It sounds like a decent layering tool. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it blind buy in this size. I think I would need to get, I want a decant or a tester or at least smell it in store or something. I guess that's kind of the upside to, I guess, buying from, places like Nordstrom, I guess, correct me if I'm wrong, but Amazon, I don't think you can return perfumes in the, even in the US, you can't return perfumes to Amazon, but at least when you buy from Nordstrom, Macy's, Sephora, Ulta, at least you can return them. I guess that is kind of the upside. Even if you pay a little bit more, you kind of have that peace of mind, or if you don't like it, you can return it. I don't know. Let me know if I'm wrong on that. Has that changed? Okay, Good Girl Parfum Supreme. Actually, let me look at this little uh, graphic. Here. I love Good Girl Blush. That is one of them I really enjoy. So this one is Berries, Jasmine, Tonka Bean, and Vetiver. Hmm, one ounce for 76. You know what? Oh, you know what? I've smelled this. I've smelled this before and apparently I loved it. Okay, I would get this one. One ounce, what is that, 30 mils? <laughs> F it. I know I like this one. Okay, the original less so, but Supreme, I love, okay, I did love this one. Good thing I rated it on Fragrantica because otherwise I would not have remembered. Oh, here we go, My Way Nectar. I have not tested this one. I've not been able to get my nose on this. I love My Way. I think I've loved every My Way that I've smelled. So it is full bottle worthy for me, even the, the original. So in this one, you've got pear, orange blossom in the top. In addition to the tuberose and jasmine, you've got vanilla, violet leaf. Okay, I mean, it sounds really lovely. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this one in the bag. In the bag, thank you, in the bag. All right, we've got some sprays. Let's, let's stick to one my way, okay? Oh, you know what? I actually just ordered uh, Daisy Oh So Intense on Depop and uh, I bought it like nine days ago and she still hasn't shipped it. <laughs> And she's definitely logged in since then. Should I be worried? Um, okay, so I guess assuming that the girl I bought it from eventually ships it, that would be nice. This one has notes that I love. You've got pear and strawberry. Okay, the honey, I'm not sure about honey. Depends on how prominent it is, but we can, we can work with that. Okay, you've got jasmine, you've got moss in the base and vanilla. This sounds like I would love it. So it must be why I ordered it. Yeah, I 
Let's let's assume that she doesn't ship it. Uh, I was getting that for like 20 bucks too. So she better ship it. Yes, I would definitely get this one. Oh, Valentino Born in Roma. Eh, I'm over it. Voce Viva by Valentino. I love this one. This is on my wish list. I absolutely love this scent. You've got bergamot and mandarin. You've got orange blossom absolute, crystal moss accord, vanilla tonka bean. This is like I smelled it and I immediately fell in love and I just haven't bought a bottle. It is more expensive, but if we're playing with Monopoly money, okay. If I've got a budget of $100 and I just want one thing, this is definitely one I would consider. I love Voce Viva. Irresistible, eh. Versace Crystal Noir EDT. Is it the old one? <laughs> Cause y'all know how I feel if it's not the old one. Okay, Dolce & Gabbana K, that's for men. God, these images are so like silly sometimes. I swear I really wanna do a video where me and Mr. Zuri recreate some of these fragrance ads. I think that'd be such a funny video. Gucci bamboo. Okay. This one, I don't think I've smelled. It better have bamboo in it. Um, it doesn't even have bamboo in it. Okay. Uh, next lawn turdy EDT. Probably wouldn't go for that. 1 million. Don't get regular 1 million for your man. Get like elixir or 1 million parfum or something. Issy Miyake. I don't like this original low dissy. There is like a summer flanker that I really like. If I see it in here, I'll grab it. Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Oh. Born in Roma Intense. I feel like I've probably smelled it. Vanilla Jasmine Benzoin. I mean, those are very mass appealing notes. Let's see. Let's see if I rated it. Oh, I guess, no. I may have smelled it, but... I don't remember. Listen, I love Jasmine. Got vanilla at the top. I feel like this is very mass appealing, uh, but I feel like it's not very unique. I feel like, I feel like these Donna Born, the Born in Roma flankers aren't very unique. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It, yeah, probably not one I would buy a full bottle of. Okay, we are getting closer at $80 now. We are getting closer to 100. Alien, listen, even the new Alien, I still like the new Alien. I mean, I have associated it with really positive memories. I definitely prefer a lot of the flankers to Alien. So, I mean, I wouldn't buy a full bottle. I have a full bottle, but even if I didn't have it, I probably wouldn't rebuy it. But I would go for some of the Alien flankers, which I, which are some of my favorites. Uh, Mugler Angel, no, not a huge fan. Goddess Intense, uh, My Way EDP, yeah, I'm gonna stay away from the original. I think the flankers are a little more interesting to me right now. Goddess Intense is like, hell yeah. Absolutely one of my favorite fragrances. I'm sorry if that makes me basic and boring. I don't care. I am one of those basic bitches who loves <laughs> Goddess Intense, okay? One of my favorite flankers of Alien for sure. Angel Elixir. <laughs> Another one I love. I do not like the original Angel. I love Angel Elixir. I feel like it's nothing like the original Angel. This to me, oh God, it's even less than 30 mils. My goodness. It is really good though. I think I would want to get it. Oh, it's so good. Listen, definitely worth smelling. Um, This one to me is so delicious. Despite it having pink pepper actually, You've got Orange Blossom, Jasmine, Amber Extreme, Bourbon Vanilla, Lang Lang. Yeah, it's just, this one is delightful. Oh, Voce Viva Intense. I actually don't know if I have smelled this. So what is the Intense ad? Let's see. Jasmine, Orange Blossom, Mandarin. What is it? What's the difference? Intensa, sorry. Intensa. Um, I don't know. It might be really beautiful, but I think maybe a risky one to blind buy. It sounds really similar to the original one. I don't know. Probably wouldn't grab that one. Um, what is this? Pasha, the successful individual. This sounds like it's definitely marketed towards men. I mean, come on. Fragrance for the successful individual. It's so embarrassing sometimes, the shit that they write. Uh, Toy 2 Pearl. I never managed to smell this one. I remember the notes being very interesting and like, oh, Devon Aoki looks so beautiful in this in this ad as well. God, she's gorgeous. She's aged like beautifully. Yeah, it's got sand in there. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so you've got lemon sorbet, oregano, 
sand, freesia, jasmine, vetiver essence, upcycled cypress, and musk. Um, okay. Oh, you get a big size for $81. Oh, seems like a risky blind buy. You know what? I'm gonna throw it in my cart. If nothing else, this bottle is like magical. I love the bottle. Devon Aoki looks stunning. She's a queen. She's an icon. And this just looks like something a mermaid would wear. Like actually need to get my hands on a tester or a decant of this. But if I was in the US, I might just buy it and see if I like it. Toy 2. I don't mind Toy 2. I have a small decant of it, but I wouldn't buy it. Um, I wouldn't buy it now after smelling it. Uh, it's okay. It's like a nice, slightly sweet, freshy. Yeah, you've got apple, orange, jasmine, peony. It's okay. It's not a love. I probably wouldn't buy it. Narciso Rodriguez EDT. You guys know how I feel about Narciso Rodriguez. Unfortunately, not a lover of the musks in those scents, so I don't really love any of them. I definitely would not purchase a full size. What is this one? We've got Sexy Amber. Eau de Parfum by Michael Kors. What are the notes in this one? Amber, sandalwood, white flowers. I mean, that sounds nice. Uh, what are the white flowers? That would be nice to know. It is literally just that. Amber, sandalwood, white flowers. Okay, listen. For me to get this, you're gonna have to be a little more specific about the white florals in here. So I'm not gonna, I wouldn't pick it up. We got some Uomos. Oh, Victor and Rolf, good fortune. I love this scent. This is on my wish list, actually. Oh, yes, I would get it. I would get it. Even the one ounce is $82. Oh, yes, I'm adding it to bag. I love good fortune. Um, I know not everyone loves it, but I managed to get myself one of those peel testers of this and I fell in love immediately. It's got bourbon, vanilla, jasmine, fennel, apparently. <laughs> I don't remember that being a distinct note. Um, yeah, it is, ma it is mass appealing, but I like it. It's in my bag. Maybe it's not worth $80 for 30 mils. That seems insane. Um... I don't know. I do really like it. I don't know. We'll we'll revisit the bag. Maybe I'll remove it. Angel EDT. I've been wanting to smell this one because the notes are actually different from the EDP. God, I just have peony still though. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't get that one. Prada Paradox. I do like Prada Paradox, but this is one that is a bit too, like, I feel like I've smelled it a million times for me. Neroli Amber and Musk. I don't know. It's good. I wouldn't buy a full bottle. Michael Kors Gorgeous. This is on my wish list. I know that for me in Australia, I can definitely get a bottle cheaper than this. 1.7 ounces for 83 dollars I can, you can, I feel like you can get this cheaper, surely. This one's got tobacco in it. So in this one, you've got tuberose in there. You've got tobacco, orange blossom and jasmine, tonka bean, you've got cashmere and benzoin and suede in the base. You've got a lot of warming notes. You've got some crisp white florals. You've got the tobacco. Um, I'm actually almost positive I'm picking this up next month. Uh, if I wasn't though, I would probably buy it here. This is, not everyone's gonna love this one, but to me, this, this smells like a Victoria's Secret model. Like, I feel like this is what a Victoria's Secret model would smell like. Michael Kors Gorgeous. I love this one. Baxter of Pacific Cannabis. Oh my God, wait, what are these? See, I've never seen these. Whoa. Pink Pepper, Rosemary, Cannabis Accord, Lavender, Sage. This sounds a bit masculine. Um, sounds very interesting. Okay, wouldn't buy it. I would definitely need a tester of that before I go ahead and buy that. But never seen that brand before. Libre Intense. Oh, this one is just so good. It is so good. I probably would get, I probably would get a one ounce. Yes, I, oh wait, that's the Intense, not the Le Parfum. Actually, I don't know if I'd get this one. I feel like I, I love all of them. I love all the Libres. The only one I didn't love was the most recent one. The, sil the one in the silver bottle. I smelled that one, I was like, eh, not a love. But I love la the lavender and the orange blossom together with the vanilla is just divine. Almost all of the Libres, including the EDT, I love them all, except for the newest one, Tory Birch. So we've got another Tory Birch here. Uh, grapefruit, peony, oh, peony. You lost me a peony, I'm sorry. Don't have time. I've already got too much stuff in my cart. Ooh, Flower Bomb three-piece perfume set. Montpery Lumiere. No, see, I haven't loved any of those. Perfect by Marc Jacobs. You know what? I really love Perfect. I kind of regret not adding it to my um, fairy perfumes video. One of you left it as a suggestion and I read that and I was like, I totally agree. 
and I love Perfect, and I do think it's a very fairy-like fragrance, and I don't know why I didn't add it. I really like Perfect by Marc, Marc Jacobs. Um, it's a very sweet green fragrance. Yeah, it's got rhubarb, it's got almond milk, and it's got cashmere, and so it gives a bit of a, a warm coziness. I really like this one. I agree. It is fairy-like and I wish I would have added it to that video, but I didn't. I don't know if I love it enough to buy a full bottle. I do like it though and it does smell like a fairy. See, I haven't liked any of these Irresistible by Givenchy. I haven't liked any of those. What's this one? Brown Girl Jane. Um, peach Nectar Water Lotus Orange Flower Water Lotus Orange Flower Essence Tuberose Jasmine golden gardenia vanilla cashmere musk okay i am very interested in this one i've never seen this brand before um you know what i'm gonna grab it all of those notes sound beautiful love tube rose love jasmine love peach as long as it's not too green it sounds like something that i would love all right adding it to bag there's another one oh, see so many of these brands we don't have down here. Okay, what do we've got here? We've got Bergamot Coastal Sage, Italian Lemon, Coconut Water Gardenia, Salty Plumeria, Driftwood Solar Mask. This sounds like very beachy. I feel like I'm, uh, hmm, I don't know. Maybe one I would want a sample of. I don't know if I'd buy a full bottle of this one. Actually, if they've, if they've got a discovery set, that would be great. I probably should have done this. Women unisex, whatever. Burberry Hero, love Burberry Hero, EDT and EDP. I think the EDP is better. So if you need something for your man, highly recommend Burberry Hero EDP. Uh, Prada Paradox Intense. Oh, uh, okay, we'll look at the notes, okay? Moss Accord, Jasmine, Ambrofix. Ambrofix, oh, okay, so we've got a couple of synthetic. That moss is actually in the middle. So you've got Neroli and Neroli Essence. The fact that the moss is so high up in the expression of the fragrance makes me very curious about this. I don't know if the original Paradox is like this. Um, love myself some moss. I love myself a good wet, uh, I almost said sweaty, a wet sweet moss. Okay, you know what? I'm adding it. Oh, <laughs> pick a size. Adding to bag. Hell yes. All right, we are getting up there. Dylan Purple. I don't know if I've smelled Dylan Purple. I like blue and turquoise. Um, We've got pear. We've got ambrofix. We've got cedar wood. Isoe super freesia. Bitter orange. Um, God, pear. God, I feel like I've... Uh, I feel like I've been smelling pear too much. I don't know, get the pear away from me. Gucci Bloom, eh, not a love. Tiffany, this is not one, I don't know, I think I may have smelled this one. I think there's like Tiffany Rose Gold or something that I've smelled that I love. What's the notes in this one? Verde Mandarin, Blue Iris, Musk's Cocktail. Blue Iris, what, how, what is Blue Iris? That's so interesting. Um, One ounce for 90 bucks. <gasps> Ow. Oh, you know what? Chloe Nomad. Is this the one I love? I don't remember, but I remember smelling one of the Chloe's and it's like smells like the inside of a flower. It's amazing. Is it this one? It's made by Quinton Biche. Oak Moss, Mirabelle, and Freesia. Hold on. Let me see if this is the one that I love. Okay. I, yes. Okay. So I like this. Apparently I rated it like. Um, I rated it like, not a love. Okay. I probably wouldn't buy this size i'd probably try and get myself like a 10 mil or something like a sp like a small spray or a rollerball like the scent not a love uh i did see that gorgeous jasmine there but i'm just skipping past it let's see you got lots of masculine i want you edp um eh, it's okay i love the the i want you forever a lot more donna karen new york cartier la perla um celebration of the radiant later and confident woman who wears it jasmine violet leaves and vetiver dry down eh i don't know it doesn't look really like it's for me classique pride edition edt i do have a cant of classique is this different from the original Okay, I think it is just the regular EDT, which I do like. I have a decant. I probably wouldn't buy a full bottle. Um, La Perla Luminous. Is that not the same thing I just looked at? Ambrette Seed, Jasmine, Cedarwood. <gasps> Ambrette? Say less. 
say less. That is $90 though, so you're really getting expensive here. Um, Estee Lauder Knowing, I think this is actually on my list of ones that I want to smell. It's from the 80s. Rose, tuberose, mimosa, and plum. In the middle, you've got patchouli in the middle, orange flower, jasmine in the base, oak moss, vetiver, sandalwood, amber. Yeah, it's definitely a, um, and I feel like it looks like an 80s scent. Really no sweetness at all. Lots of heavy white floral in here. I wouldn't get this one, but I do want to get a tester of it for maybe a video. You guys will have to wait and see. <gasps> Uomo Intense. I've been meaning to get a decant of Uomo Intense. Even though it's a men's scent, okay, the notes in this one, let me say. Sage, mandarin, iris, tonka bean, leather, and vanilla bean. Like that sounds so good. I wanna try that. Heavy iris and vanilla, give to me, okay? Oh, this is the one. This is the Tiffany one that I've smelled and I'm pretty sure I really liked this one, the rose gold. Here we go, okay. So I can't, I can't remember if it was, cause this is intense. So I don't know if there, if I smelled the intense or the original rose gold. Pink pepper extract, orange flower accord and patchouli. I'm almost positive I loved either this one or the original. I'm just gonna chance it. I'm gonna chance it. Let's add it to bag. It's Monopoly money, guys. <laughs> My Way Parfum. Okay, we've got some Burberry Hers Blossom. Oh, uh, I do like Burberry Her Elixir. Burberry Her Blossom EDT. Okay, let me look at this one. Peony, nope. Goodbye, see ya. Clinique Aromatics. I feel like this one is on my list of decants to get. Uh, Lang Lang <laughs> Vertiver. It says Vertiver, guys. Um, patchouli, Rich Vetiver, Lush Oak Moss, Oak Moss, Luxurious Patchouli, Balance with the Sop Florals, Floralcy of Lang Lang and Rose. Um, yes, one that I wanna get a tester of, but I would not buy today. I'm just gonna scroll down here until we get to 100 and just see if any stand out to me. Rose and amber cologne. What's this one? Rose, amber. Hold on, this Jo Malone one. Essence of the Tudor Rose combined with spicy clove and sensual amber housed in a limited edition glass bottle. Tudor Rose, clove and amber. Uh, okay, interesting. Not one I would get for that price. Oh, I did, you know what? I did, sm I do remember smelling this one, the light blue summer vibes. It was okay. I feel like it was okay. It wasn't amazing. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Rose, vanilla, and mandarin. Cafe Rose. I don't think I have smelled Cafe Rose yet. I wouldn't get it. Libre Le Parfum. I do love myself the Libre Le Parfum. I don't have a bottle of this. One ounce is nearly $100. Ow, ow. <sighs> But the rules are that it's 100, under 100, so it's totally worth it. Yeah, this is the one that I'm not a huge fan of, the silver, I forget the name of it. Bulgari. You know what? I just, I got some decants from Bulgari recently, of some older scents. I'm gonna, I have yet to do a video on those, but um, I feel like Bulgari is one that I kind of need to keep more of an eye out for. Let's see, this one is White Pepper Artemisia, White Tea Ambrette. <gasps> Ambrette. <laughs> did it, wait, did it add? Did it add it to bag? Oh no. <laughs> it's not letting me add to bag. Okay, but just know I would have added it to the bag. It's just, it's telling me to f off, basically. You have got too much shit in your bag. Okay, we're really getting close to 100 here. Bulgari Rose, and I'm, I'm over Rose. Eros Pour Femme, it's okay. Oh, La Belle. I do love La Belle. I love La Belle Le Parfum a lot more though. I wouldn't get this one. I would definitely get the Le Parfum. Narciso, I'm sorry, I have to pass on you. Legere, Legere, I f this is on my list of ones to smell. I can't remember if I've actually smelled this one. Let me double check. This is on my list. Right, so this one looks more creamy. I don't know if you guys saw that one. I added Legere to my bag. That one's got lots of beautiful creamy notes. You've got Dolce de Leche, lots of heavy white florals, got tuberos. The notes sound right up my alley, so I added that one to bag. And that, with that, we have hit, we have hit 100 here, guys, hit $100. So for me, my shopping spree is ending. So let's see how much my bag is. This is gonna be so funny, you guys. And there should have been more because there's one thing that wouldn't add to bag. <laughs> Guys, it's only 2000 it's only $2,300.
Listen, it's a steal. And look, honey's popping up and saying, hello, honey. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's, I forgot the tax is not included in the price. Funny American things, it's so funny. Oh, it's probably because I'm in um, California. Well, I'm from Oregon, so I would not have tax. Um, okay, hold on. I've changed it to Oregon <laughs> because if I'm in the US, I wouldn't be in California. I'd be in Oregon where I'm from. So it would be 2100, okay? We don't have sales tax in Oregon. Um, so 2100. A steal, a steal, you guys. That is a steal. Actually, you know what? I feel like we've <laughs> I feel like we add a lot of things to bag. Maybe you look at that price and go, that's worth it. Um, to me, I look at that price and my heart sinks and my stomach drops. <laughs> so yeah, I'm budget queen. Maybe I might pick like one or two things from this list. I am very keen to try, listen, I'm very keen to try these MAC fragrances. I have not seen them anywhere in Australia. Maybe I haven't looked hard enough. I really want to look for decants. I think I'm gonna start doing that and seeing what I can get. Listen, if I might remove some, maybe I'll remove Good Fortune. Maybe I'll remove Good Fortune. Another one that I might remove, Bon Bon. I might remove Bon Bon, honestly. Oh, I would probably remove a lot of those Tory Birch fragrances because I would just get this Discovery set instead. Oh, I really want to get my hands on these MAC ones, you guys. Are these enjoyable? Do you enjoy shopping with me? This is kind of just like a stream of consciousness shopping experience with me. This is kind of what I'm thinking, but I'm just saying it out loud for you guys. Yeah, if you guys want me to do shopping at Macy's, I've got like Macy's, Sephora, Ulta on my list. Let me know if you want me to do those ones. I'd be more than happy. And this is kind of fun for me. I love just adding stuff to cart and just like pretending I'm gonna buy it all, but still being somewhat realistic with what I might actually get. Hope you enjoyed, hope you had some fun and I will see you in the next one. 